The chief prosecutor of the International Criminal Court says he's seeking arrest warrants for senior Hamas and Israeli officials for war crimes and crimes against humanity in a move that may present new challenges for Israel's Western allies. For more on this, I'm joined by national security expert and founder and president of Lopez Liberty LLC, Claire Lopez. Claire, thank you so much for being here with us. Chief prosecutor Karim Khan is looking to issue warrants on both sides of the aisle here, aside from naming uh, the Hamas chief and commander considered to be behind the October 7th massacre, he also named Israeli Prime Minister Netanyahu and his defense minister, Yoav Gallant. Now, he's accusing Israel of extermination, starvation as a method of war, and deliberately targeting civilians. So, Claire, would you say it's fair to issue these warrants on our ally Israel? Absolutely not. Drawing the equivalence, first of all, between a jihadist terrorist organization on the U.S. foreign terrorist organizations list, that being Hamas, and the leadership of the sovereign nation state, the Jewish state of Israel, um, is, is reprehensible. There is no starvation in, in Gaza and never has been. If there are shortages of anything, it is because when humanitarian aid comes in, who grabs it? Hamas gunmen grab it and actually shoot at the Gazan civilians trying to obtain humanitarian aid to keep them away from those shipments. And then whatever they don't use, they have put out back onto the black market in Gaza, forcing the poor Gazan people to pay exorbitant prices for food that should have been coming in, was coming in as humanitarian aid for them in the first place. But in any case, um, Gaza is overflowing with food right now. There is no starvation. And Claire, just last month, Israeli Prime Minister Netanyahu held a phone call with President Biden. He expressed concerns about this looming warrant. Do you trust that Biden holds enough weight in this situation to possibly step in and deter this ICC from issuing these warrants on Israel? You know, I wouldn't even say, does our President Joe Biden have the weight to do that? I would say, does he have the will to do that? Will he, will his administration stand up against this despicable move uh, by the International Criminal Court at The Hague? The International Criminal Court at The Hague, um, they have gone after uh, Israel and its leadership previously as well. Uh, this is merely a continuation of uh, Jew hatred, of an attempt to attack and, and destroy, bring down uh, the one and only Jewish state in the world, the Jewish state of Israel. And Claire, before we go, why doesn't the ICC investigate, you know, Iranian leaders for their proxies that have been waging war on both the U.S. and Israeli military? Well, that's exactly what they ought to do, and, and which is why, by the way, neither Israel nor the United States is a member of the ICC. Uh, were they genuinely a fair and impartial, legitimate judicial body, of course they would go after the sponsors of Hamas, Hezbollah, the Houthis, and so forth. Um, but they don't, and they're not legitimate. Well, we'll see what comes out of this, and we'll definitely see if President Biden has the will to step in and defend Israel. We'll definitely keep an eye on that. Claire Lopez, national security expert and founder and president of Lopez Liberty, LLC. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. For all our viewers asking where One America News is heading in the future, we would like to introduce you to OAN Live. OAN Live is the best way to stay up to date on all of the hard-hitting, straight-shooting, national and international headlines. And the best part is, OAN Live is only $4.99 per month. All the credible, honest, unbiased reporting One America News offers at a fraction of the cost of cable. Just go to OANN.com to easily sign up for OAN Live and stay informed.